as a digital asset manager, how do you coordinate the images that people have with the images that have been shared with uh, images they want to retrieve? Well, you know, honestly, that's a big question uh, in my book, Photo Organizing Made Easy. Uh, it's a, That's not an easy answer. And, you know, digital asset management's become really complex. So we do talk a lot about that. So the first thing we recommend is that you gather everything into one place. Same with even your, we call it your di create a digital photo hub on your computer. that you And that's what we do. We help people curate, get everything into one place to start. But that's just the first thing is even with your printed photo is to take inventory and get a sense of all that you have. You know, just grab a piece of paper and I have, you know, 15 VCR tapes or I have, you know, seven boxes of, you know, seven blue albums and six boxes of photos I've never done anything with. And, oh, wow, look, here's three old phones, an old computer and, you know, some uh, flash drives, which I think have photos on it, but I'm not really sure. And to kind of get a picture of, of all that you have. So what I'm hearing you say is if, if I was going to ask you to give three to five tips, the first one is organized, the second one is inventory, yeah. then what? So the first one, yeah, uh, gather everything into one place, take inventory. Then the organization piece really comes down to, I've created something called an acronym called the ABCs of photo organizing. You can Google it. It's out there a lot. People use it. It's simple, but it's a visual way to understand this. A is ask yourself, is this, are these photos album worthy? Are they archival worthy? Are they the best photos? B is, you know, you, it's really hard to make that decision, right? So you can put them back in the box or put them in a folder somewhere and just call them my B photos. I also joke that in the B photos, if they're printed and you uh, you can put a note so to the next generation that may open that box someday after you're gone you have my permission to throw these photos away because oh. I can't tell you how many people are just so upset they inherit boxes of photos and they can't they don't know who anybody is but they won't throw them away and then C is yes you can throw photos in the can or you can <laughs> delete them and we recommend I recommend the 80 20 rule that 20 percent keep 20 percent and delete 80 percent but the what matters most is S is does it tell a story so the photo of um your, your home with the, with the uh, large evergreen tree in front of it may mean a lot to you because you remember when that tree was planted when your first child was born. You know, that, there's a story to that photo and that becomes a photo that you keep. So the ABCs and the S, does it tell a story? We take photos chronologically, but we actually think thematically. So we encourage people to think about organizing their or managing their photo collection in terms of themes as opposed to, oh, you know, it's December and then it's January and it's February, right? Because that what's, that's what's so overwhelming. So honestly, some of the best advice you ever gave me, it was liberating in fact, is you were talking about making photo books and you said, don't think about it in terms of this took place in 2000 and this in 2001 and 2002. In fact, you used the example of soccer players and you basically said, no one wants to turn a page and see everyone playing soccer in this year than that. Make a spread and the theme of it be soccer. And in that single spread, you can see that child playing soccer across all the ages. And you're so right. It becomes so powerful that mm -hmm. way. We're the Photo Gifters. We would be excited to have you subscribe to our channel. Just hit the red subscribe button below. And be sure to click on the bell to receive notification of new videos. We always love hearing from you. Ask a question or make a comment below. We promise to respond swiftly. Don't forget to click and request our free 10 unique photo gift ideas. You'll be happy you did. Happy photo gifting.